Hello Leo, how are you doing? Welcome into your Saturday reading for the 20th of November. I am going to call in spirit guides to come into my spirit room and give us the messages that we need to see and also uh, show us what we do not see coming. Remember, if you want to have a free personal reading, free, yes, on YouTube right here, comment below with your zodiac sign and then come back and check back um, in a day or two. It won't be the next batch of readings because the next batch is my weeklies, but as of Monday, it's my daily readings. And in the daily readings, I answer one person's question at the end of every reading for all 12 zodiac signs. So comment below and I'll just randomly choose somebody and answer. If you want to see if your question is answered for today, stick around to the end of the reading and then I will announce who the winner is for the day day i've got you written down okay so let's see right now for you leo what is going on with you what are your challenges and what do we not see coming for you let's have a look and see currently right now what is your challenges especially around the time of saturday 20th of november um could be work could be work related you got aries coming up here. i'm telling you aries and what other card is stalking me? It's Aries. I think it's mainly Aries. Aries is stalking me. Aries. Is there an Aries out there stalking me? But anyway, um, the Aries energy, which is the emperor, it's a very strong energy. Um, it, taught, it does say lead. There could be some problems with regards to a superior of yours at work or even in your business, if you have a business. There could be some issues with regards to like that kind of like work environment. If this is love, uh, that's a big problem because it can be somebody that really focuses too much on their work and they're not very emotional or romantic, can be a bit of a cold person's energy. Look at that. Well-deserved reward. Ah, and the clarity of belief. I want to honestly tell you, I feel like to be really honest with you, um, you've got a nine of pentacles here, you've got an ace of swords here, very nice. Clarity of belief means I want to be successful and I'm going to be successful no matter what. Um, nine of pentacles indicates that yes. I do feel like where you currently are, this is a job, I feel like it's work, I've got to tell you. I feel like where you are right now, it's good with regards to them paying you. But I feel like there's a problem with a person that is, or somebody at work that is causing you, it's more like relationships that are not okay. Not like a stability, I see success in your career, I see you getting very well well rewarded for it as well. Pentacles is there, that is a lot of money. What are you, a doctor or a lawyer or an engineer? I don't know, but whatever, you know, good congratulations. But there's either somebody that's around you or there's somebody that's your boss or your superior that's really giving you some, some, some grief, some gray hair over there. Let's get in here and see. Um, it's difficult, hey? Yo. Um, let's get in here and have a look and see with regards to what we do not see coming. There's, I knew this emperor is stalking me. I don't know anymore what to say. Um, there's a page of, of wands coming in with this emperor in the reverse position. What's going on today? Okay, there's some kind of information. This emperor is going to maybe contact you like via email. Always do emails with this person, whoever this is. Okay, always do the emails because you need to keep a paper trail. Yeah, you know, the way this person, they may even have some kind of jealousy towards you or uh, want your position or fear that you may be taking their position in the future. There's a threat that they're feeling from you. Be careful with regards to communication with this person over the next couple of days. Remember, we just went through Taurus's full moon um, and that is an energy of really needing to uh, keep your inner emotions straight because you got this energy here. It, there's something, there's a fly buzzing around here. Okay, there we go, my focus is back. Um, You've got this energy of people's emotions really being heightened, okay, around that time. And it was a lunar eclipse as well. Lunar eclipses, even solar eclipses, they're very uh, strong energies, but it's not. A, it's more darker energy. So we need to be careful that it doesn't bring out the darker side of things. So protect yourself, you know what I mean? It's not actually, honestly, to be honestly truthful with you, I am a witch, so I will tell you, it is not really a good thing to go out and like watch solar eclipses or lunar eclipses. Rather, don't go celebrate the darkness you know what i mean so this person could even be trying to kind of like dig a hole for you or get you into trouble with miscommunication be careful just back up all your uh little you know make sure you got everything in order especially with regards to any kind of communications going on here whatever this is i feel like you'll be good but there's a bit of a troublemaker at work there hmm. isn't there always that one person you know so let's see for today who are we answering today where, where is all my stuff i've got everything 
written down. Let me just get my notebook. Yes, I've literally got a notebook here. So let's see for today. Where are we? Who did I just do? Who did I just do? Bear with me, guys. I'll be right with you. So let's see. Oh, Libra. Oh, Leo. Yeah, we go. Um, and you asking. You are Aphrodite. Hey, bear. How are you doing, Aphrodite? I love it. Um, does my Libra crush like me back? Ha did I just say Libra? Oh, how interesting was that? I was like, is this Libra? No, this is Leo. No, but he's Libra. Does your Libra crush like you back Aphrodite? How can anybody not like Aphrodite? I mean, he's Aphrodite of all people. So let's have a look and see. Does your Libra crush like you back? Let's see what will come up in your reading. Let's have a look. I'm so curious to see what will come up. Do they like you back? Hmm. Let's see what energies come through here. Eight of Pentacles, interesting. The Moon card, yes, this person likes you back. Yes. Um, they may be wondering if you like them. Uh, the dedicated effort, I don't know if you know this person at work, I'm just saying, because that Eight of Pentacles can indicate work. This is the Moon card, which is also Pisces. Uh, the thing is, they could have Moon in Pisces, you know what I mean, as a romance thing. I feel like they themselves are not sure about you. There's a bit of miscommunication or a bit of not sure where they stand or what they should do next. Um, the Moon card even says confront here. Honestly, I don't think you should confront them, but yes, they do like you. Maybe give them a hint, you know what I mean? They do love you. It's says love abounds this is the eight of cups energy um there's something professional between the two of you though it's almost like you work together or or you at school together or something like that you know what i mean very interesting energy um i hope they're not your boss i'm just saying you know what i mean so let's have a look and see there's something you guys do together like you do something with this person so it's interesting so let's have a look and see what do you not see coming here or what should you take note of let's see yeah, good news, eh? Um, the Queen of Swords being there and the Ten of Wands. So this time that's going on here between the two of you, I really kind of feel like they do keep up their guard, though, with the Ten of Swords being here. They do keep up, like, they're keeping up their guard. They, they're kind of keeping themselves in the in the safe place you know what i mean but something's about to change here between you and this person because you've got a ten of wands being here um what is currently occurring is the ten of wands that you're carrying so this whatever is going on in your life it's it's an ending that's coming in because you've got an ace over there so this could actually even lead to a relationship where they are kind of keeping up their their wall it can be taken down and a new energy comes in there so yeah i think you might even see something here that you have not seen before with the moon card being there and the next cycle of the moon like the next 30 days there can be a shift even around about december time there we go thank you so much for coming into the reading and i'm wishing you the best for the rest of your day aphrodite i'm sending my love to you bye